Thanks so much for joining me. May the Lord and the goodness of God continue to rest and abide upon your life. May you prosper and increase in every way. I encourage you today to choose to be faithful to God. And being faithful to God is about living the principles of the Word of God and being diligent that living them means applying them to our daily lives, to our interactions one with another. It's going back to the very base principle of life. Love the Lord your God and love your neighbor as you love ourselves. If we live love, then it finds the key to begin to deal with the issues of our lives and set us on a path where success will not elude us. It is in keeping with that concept that I continue to cry for another, the area that needs change. It's so disappointing and sad, saddening to my own heart that too regularly we have to be bringing the issue of crime and violence. And after nearly for over 40 years, 50 years with this monster, we're not seemingly able to break the back of it. And rather than getting better, it is getting worse. It is a matter that as citizens we all must take responsibility and we all must engage the process for change, albeit we have different roles and at different levels. And some there are greater responsibility than others because when you know, know criminality and persons involved in criminality when you know who are issuing issuing the guns and you know who are purchasing and making the guns available and you know where guns are stashed where they are being stored you have a greater direct responsibility to do something about it and for the rest of society we must consistently make an outcry because they are the recipients of criminal activity and so we it is something that all of us must have equal care but we have differing recent levels of responsibility because of the positions we have and the information that we have. But let's all of us take responsibility to work to deal with this matter. It is urgent. We Last week we had to be addressing the issue of the police officers who were brutally slain because of this. We often have to deal with the issue of citizens who are brutally slain because of it, whether by police sometimes and in over in, in abuse and that citizens upon citizens because of wickedness and the evil hearts of men but who does it the source of it it is doesn't really matter what matters is that we must find the solution and it is not beyond us we must be prepared as a people and as leaders of our nation, leaders of church, leaders of business, and leaders of state must do what is necessary to deal with this issue. We cannot leave it and pass it on to the next generation. We have come through it since the shortly after independence since the, the the 70s particularly we have created this monster and therefore it is time that we deal with it the atmosphere is beginning to be charged with electioneering for the possibility of an early election as the pundits seem to be suggesting. I therefore am strong on this issue so I make this appeal to the political leaders of both our major parties. Do not let us make the issues of crime and corruption platform talk. Let's not talk about it there except to renew a commitment to work harder at solving it. 
because this, we cannot solve it without commitment to solution and commitment to solution must come from the leaders of our parties because the origin of the problem was started by the political system and it is maintained in various degrees by that same system and those who are practicing it all of the gangs come out of garrison communities and it is still being supported by garrison communities there is a lot of talk about the external forces that are driving it meaning our own Jamaican citizens overseas and our citizens who are even incarcerated are still driving it all of these are connected to the same political process so therefore we cannot keep thinking we can solve the problem outside of the input and engagement of a political process so i'm asking that we do not hear it on the political platforms using it to be tearing down each side no side have done anything to change it in 40 years none not that they have not made attempts but no attempt has proven fruitful except a band-aid here and a band-aid there that soon bursts off and we're right back to square one and not just square one we are worse than we were before so no one has any right to be speaking of it by way of casting stones on the other side both sides are guilty both sides are inept both sides have shown an inability to solve it because it is the same people doing the same thing in the same way and there are no new results so we're seeing the sozo zone and we thank god for what it has done in many ways sure it's help but it's bandied upon sore foot it is not solution it is simply holding station trying to keep calm it cannot effectively recover the level of guns that are out there it is not able to change the thinking of those who are engaged it is not able to heal the wounds of those who have been hurt by it by that that by the policies and the indications and the behavior of the political leadership over the years and creating the environment that fosters it we are doing nothing to change those environments whether economically or socially or politically and so until there is a readiness to do what is necessary and that's going to mean going back to the root and plucking up the tree from the root you this is a problem that breaking branches cannot solved this is not new to hear it I have said it and there were scores of others been saying it saying it saying it but we keep breaking off a branch here a branch there and when the fruit fall to the ground we gather the fruit and try to do something with it those are not solutions you've got to go back to the root if the tree is a problem pluck up the tree and get rid of the tree it is essential and so we must go back and face the origins of the problem that the infection is still with us and we must take out the infection from the problem we have said that it needs the kind of approach that we have taken to covid and even better than covid because we have not sought yet with covid in the world to face the origin break it at its origin so that we don't re keeping the exercise like covid a man-made exercise that is creating the problems so the crime and violence we have today is man-made and therefore we have to as men find the solutions and deal with it citizens of jamaica we must be resolute on this matter now and we must insist that if our politicians will take political stages in, in 
this season and begin to speak as if they are innocent or as if they, they have done marvelously with it, we must call them out boldly. And I'm prepared to do that. So me and everybody this year, because this country cannot continue on the path that we have been. So therefore, crime and corruption are issues that must not become platform speeches, except in a posture of humility where hands will be lifted up and say, guilty as charged. We repent of it and we are prepared to work to change it and to change it from the root. Let's all commit to that. Let the political leaders do what they are to do. Let us as citizens do what we are to do so that together with the help of the almighty God, we can break the back of this thing and really allow the nation to prosper and increase. God bless you. Let's work it. Let's make it happen.